What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Punning with the People. I'm Jacob. For those that don't know me, I'm an Australian playing American football professionally here in Germany. Today is Man's Day. So this Thursday, every year, all of Germany has the day off. So I thought I'd take advantage, get out, see what Germany had to offer. So what you're about to see is just a little glimpse of what's around Dresden and what's in Germany that everyone's missing out on. So today we thought we'd come on a little hike down about half hour to Dresden to a little winery called Schloss Wackerbad. Uh, we were here last year for like a wine festival uh, at the start of spring. We've come back here because actually about 15, 20 minutes walk from the winery, there's a little place with one of the coolest names in Germany. It's called Jacobstein. It's a beautiful day to hike. Uh, there was maybe a little bit of rain coming, but we're glad that we got some sun, so that was good. So this little thing right here that you can see that I'm pointing at, that is Jacobstein. It's basically sitting right above the winery down here. We're parked just down here in the car park, but we walked up the hill around to here, had a look around. There's actually a little divot that you'll see in the video underneath Jacobstein that you can actually go into. It's pretty cool. Advantage of Germany great weather all the time. Disadvantage of Germany is the weather changes so quickly. So halfway through our hike, we are under a bunch of trees and it's just started raining and as you can hear, thunder. So we've got to chill here under the trees until the rain passes so we can keep walking. So stay posted. Sunlight, rain and thunder all mixed together. It just doesn't make sense to an Australian but to Germans, I guess, this is normal. Good news, guys. After all the walking through the jungle, we finally found Narnia. <laughs> Today on Australians in the Jungle, we're searching for the wild German predator known as Marianne Wenzel. Crikey, she spotted me.
So in the middle of a winery, mountain, hill, I don't know what you call it, there's a bunch of jam outside a house, basically with a sign saying, please leave two euros 50 and take one, just out the front of a house. In Australia, that wouldn't happen. Here, it's just the norm. I don't know whether you can see, but right up there in the horizon is actually Dresden. Two and a half hours walking. We started at Schloss Wackerbart and walked to Jacobstein and then went to another winery, Schloss Hofluftnitz. I think, is that right? Hofluftnitz. Uh, and then we caught a tram back. Now we're in the car and now we're going to go celebrate Man's Day with the only way we know we can, and that's with a drink and some decent German food. Let's go. So after a big day exploring and enjoying Man's Day, we're back home and what better way to enjoy a nice German holiday than to finish it off with some schnitzel, some onion rings and some Kartoffeln. So thanks for watching another vlog, like, subscribe, hunting for the people, we'll be here all season, until next time.